Singer 251-22. This is an automatic lubricating machine. It's a high speed needle feed machine. It also has drop feed. I've got a, a special foot on here that goes uh, in conjunction with this, this folder which does a, a bias edge. Uh, this has a stitch length adjustment. It has two. It has one for the needle and one for the drop feed. So there's a differential feed uh, capability with this machine. Um, and you do need to be aware of that. If you're going to move uh, one, uh, you kind of need to move the next one with it. There's a little bit of play in there for that differential feed. But if you're not careful, you can uh, get them out of alignment and, and break the needle. But if you're careful, it's not a problem. I've adjusted it to its full range. They both work good and you can get them uh, perfectly in time, which is always the way that I do it. Um, but for anybody out there that's, you know, I don't know, doing ruffling or, or something like that, I guess it's good for that. So there's a couple of add-ons here. This is just a homemade uh, device to hold this gross grain. And then uh, this uh, folder is is attached to the machine uh, with two screws. Uh, this this uh, this folder's nice. Uh, there's an adjustment uh, in and out, or out and in, and uh, uh, fore and aft right here, and uh, also there's an adjustment where it attaches to the machine. Right now I've got it adjusted and, and I show it to work uh, in this configuration. But this can be taken off. There's no uh, nothing permanently hooked onto this machine, so it can be used for any other uh, application that you might have. This is the this is the pump that uh, automatically lubricates the machine. I've had this apart. Uh, it's in very good shape. The uh, the impeller looks as good as as new, and uh, the screen has been all cleaned out. There's there's no lint in this machine. Now this is a brand new um, gasket for the machine, and I've put new gaskets uh, throughout the machine. So for instance, uh, in addition to this new gasket and brand new oil, which in a machine head only sale the the oil pan is part of the head so when you buy this machine I'll take this oil pan out of this table and it will be shipped with your machine uh, minus the oil uh, this is a new gasket that ha for this cover has a new gasket and this cover has a new gasket the uh, I don't believe I had to replace the gasket in this end it was in good condition it's important in these automatic lubricating machines that you have uh, good gaskets because it, it uh, holds the oil inside of them. And uh, I will show the pump to work through this window here. So one nice thing about the swing away folder is uh, you can swing it out of your way and do uh, uh, straight straight sewing, um, checking for uh, your thread tension or, or what have you. Once you're done with your uh, straight sewing operation, you can just swing this into place, position your uh, bias tape, put your threads where you want them, I think that is here, and you can move into uh, bias tape application.
I just kind of been messing around with it here. Um, so it applies and folds uh, a gross grain uh, or other bias tape that you might put in there. And it folds it around the edge and attaches it at the same time. So it makes a real uh, sturdy edge. Here's another one I was kind of messing around with. It will do an outside curve. This 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 one will. And do a straight line of course. Whenever you you know change your thread, you want to make sure that your tensions are set right. So you can you can swing this back out of your way and just just uh, sew in a straight manner and uh, check your work and just make sure that uh, the uh, tensions are all right. I know that you can't see it, but uh, it's good. So now this will fold in and, and this has several adjustments on it. So you kind of have to mess around and, and get it just right. But uh, I think I've got this set up off camera so that that it'll work and I'm going to use uh, just a scrap piece of you know something that mocks a, a pocket flap or something and we'll see if I can't get this applied So this is 10 ounce denim. Here's kind of where it started and just put that put that on the edge. I've, I've got blue thread on the bottom. doesn't show up quite as well, but it does a real nice job of putting that uh, tape on the edge. So if you're looking to make bags and, and want to put some bias edging on, uh, I know that this will do up up to 10 inch denim and you know perhaps 12 or 14, but uh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll put a dis in the description uh, exactly which folder this is and um, it'll come with this machine and, and it'll make you just a, a pretty much a bias machine. So there you go.